What's up adventurers? We are back with another backpack review. Today we're going to be checking out the Tropic Feel Shell Backpack. If you're not familiar with Tropic Feel, they've launched a couple of the most successful shoe Kickstarters. Here's a pair that I just got. I love these things. This is actually my second pair. But we're not here to talk about these. Let's talk about the backpack. This is their shell backpack, which is supposed to be anything from an everyday carry to your travel backpack. In its smallest state, it's 22 liters, which is like this. And when you fully expand it, it can go all the way up to 40 liters. Here's a little wear test. Let's get into it. On the top, there is an open flap like this, which just allows you access to the inside like a bucket style backpack. On the flap itself, there is a small zippered section that is good for small items, keys, whatever you need access to. On both sides, you have an elastic water bottle holder, tripods, whatever you wanna put here. Now there isn't an additional strap up here to secure anything taller like a tripod, but it can definitely hold water bottles and anything very securely. Checking out the back, there's some semi-padded straps here with a chest harness that is adjustable based on what is comfortable for you. There's an additional elastic strap here that you can use to tie down the straps if you're not using them. Let's try that. Now they're not kind of dangling all over the place. They're securely put in there in case you want to hold it like that or hold it like a briefcase. It comes with a lightweight waist strap as well. Um, and I think these tuck away if I'm not wrong. Let's try to do that right now. Yep, they tuck right inside. Hard to do with one hand. So now the waist strap is out of the way, but it's conveniently inside there if you do need it. And I just discovered this little secret pocket back here. It's a little zippered pocket, I assume for passport or ID or cash somewhere that you want to keep out of sight uh, just because it's not an obvious pocket. Besides that, the paneling on the back is cushioned. It's nice and cool. There's some area for airflow to keep you cool as well. And then on the bottom, there is a feature called the, I think they call it the kangaroo pocket. It's kind of an additional flap right here that goes on the outside of the bag. So for example, if I had some shoes that I didn't want to keep inside with all my other stuff, I can fold it up. Put it down here. I really need to find a table to start doing these reviews on. And voila, my shoes are packed away, easy to access, and it keeps it nice and secure on the bottom of the bag. On top of that, the bottom of the kangaroo straps have these elastic straps here that you can run something else through. So if you're camping, a sleeping pad could go through that, or you could put a tripod in there as well. Now I'm sure you notice these uh, four nipples that are on the outside. I don't know what they're called. They look like nipples to me. I'm gonna call them nipples. These are for a couple accessories that you can add to the outside of the bag. So let's skip to that really quick. The first is a tech pouch. The second is a toiletry bag. The main difference is the tech pouch is much smaller. The toiletry bag is definitely thicker than the tech pouch. Plus the tech pouch only opens up on the top. Has a few elastic spots for you to keep cables. Otherwise you could just kind of throw any chargers in there and whatnot. The toiletry bag opens up differently because it opens up fully so that you can access the entire inside and hang your toiletries. Now, this is still relatively thin, but it has a few mesh pockets that you could use to organize your stuff as well as a zippered pocket down here. You'll see on the back of these, there are four connection points that connect to the nipples. It's actually really easy to connect these on. There are magnets inside of them, so all you have to do is kind of place them close to it and it does the rest for you pretty smooth. Now, when I first saw this, my main concern was what happens? I mean, you have a pouch essentially on the outside of your backpack that seems like would be easy to steal, but what they've done is they've built locks into the top two. So you can't actually pull this off. You can see I can hold the whole weight of the backpack and it won't come off. I can even yank on it and it's still secure. The bottoms will come out obviously because there's no lock locking mechanism on there, but the two top locks hold it pretty, pretty securely on there. So to actually take this off, you have to pull on both of these straps. One, two, 
and it comes right off. So I'm really impressed with how they built this, how easy it is to use and how, how secure it is, even though you could just simply throw it on there and it's on. All right, let's get back to the backpack, open this up and see what's inside. I showed you guys before that there is an open on the top, but the main opening, it's definitely a clamshell type backpack where you open up the entire area for the inside of the backpack. There's another accessory that we'll show you in a minute that actually fits perfectly into this. And just so you have an idea of what it looks like from the top, when I open up the top, boom, I can access the whole inside. The back panel has a bunch of organization for you as well. Now there are a Velcro pocket here for up to a 17 inch laptop. It is padded. It's raised a little bit from the ground to keep it protected. There's also two zippered elastic pockets here to help you keep organized. I wanna check out one of the coolest accessories that I've seen in a while. It is basically a closet system for you. So this thing is expandable and compressible. So you can pack it up and once you're done packing, there are two side compression straps that you can tighten and this fits in right into the back of the backpack. I don't have any clothes in here right now, but as you can see, it's compressed. Once it's compressed, it'll sit right in there. And so all your clothes is available. And what I love about it is you can get to wherever your location is, pull this thing out, still have the backpack for a day pack because you have all that space, but all your clothes is organized and you can just hang this directly in your closet. There are three main sections to this. The top is a mesh zippered area. I would probably pack underwear, socks in here. It has two halves to it. There's one divider right here so you can separate that. The middle section is just a wide open space. This is probably for your pants or for uh, sweaters, anything bigger that won't fit in these smaller areas. And then the bottom, I love this. It's actually divided up into a lot of mini sections so that you can access things by pulling one thing out without it all collapsing on you. I personally like to roll my t-shirts or shorts when I travel. So I would roll them, stuff them in here, and I would have easy access to each individual piece while being able to throw it right back in when I'm done. And again, if you don't use the whole space, you can compress this thing to extremely small. Pretty cool. Now, one of the biggest questions I had was, will this bag work for me? Because we carry camera gear with us. They do have a camera cube that actually sits anywhere in the bag, or if you're using the wardrobe system, you can stick it right into the middle where the bigger items are. And it's a pretty simple and straightforward camera cube. You have access to the top through a big zipper, like that. And on the top, it's pretty simple. It has an open space. They give you plenty of dividers so that you can actually organize it however you want. And then it has a Velcroed mesh pocket here. It'd be good for filters. And there's also some elastic things for cables or whatever else you need to keep organized. Now, if it's sitting in the backpack like this and something's on top of it, you're not gonna be able to access it from above. So now they also have a front facing entrance. So boom, you got access to the front. Now the downside is you can't access those top organization things super easy, but it gives you the option to keep this in your backpack, open up the back, and still get access to your camera. Lastly, there's a small zippered section on the front of this bag, just for a few other items that you may have to organize. And it's also probably where I would keep the strap. So what's cool about this, it's not the most robust strap, so if you're carrying super heavy gear, I'm not sure how comfortable it is yet. I'll have to try it out. But there are loops on the side where you can put this strap on. And now you have yourself a small camera bag that you can carry with you if you don't wanna bring the whole backpack. So if you're using the wardrobe system, the cube does fit right into this middle section. It's a little limiting in terms of like being able to access this zipper, the front zipper, because there's a lip here that kind of goes around it. But 
the idea is there where you could still fit it in there with the rest of your clothes if you need to, if you like this organization. Well, that's it for you. That is a Tropic Feel shell backpack. Overall, an impressive pack. They have some cool features on here that I haven't really seen before on other backpacks that we use. The backpack is weather resistant and made out of recycled nylon and polyester, which is really nice. My one concern is having easy access to the camera because we're shooting a lot when we travel. We like having those uh, the side access specifically for the camera itself. But if that's not a huge concern for you, I definitely recommend this backpack. It's super versatile. I love that it goes from 22 to 40 liters. It has a lot of different expansion and accessories that you can add to really customize it to how you need it. And I really love the wardrobe system. I think I'm gonna use that not just in this backpack, but also in a suitcase if I wanted to travel and just have all my clothes ready and organized. Right now, I mostly pack in packing cubes, but when I get to a location, I kind of unpack those packing cubes if I'm there for a few nights. But this way, I don't even have to do that. I can just hang it up and it's all ready to go. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below, if there are any other backpacks I should check out, let me know there as well. Otherwise, I will link to this backpack in the description below so you can check it out. See you later, guys.